In this tutorial what we'll do is we'll upload a project into the Zure Cloud and it uses an, an SDF database file. SDF uh, integrates our database with the uh, SQL Compact Edition so it makes it fairly easy for us to upload the uh, project into the Azure Cloud. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to make sure that a part of our app data we've actually included our STF file and that it will be copied to the deployment folder. So that's copy always. And here we are here. So this this is the table that this is the uh, the database that we're going to upload. And if we check in our our connection string, so this is the connection string that's made. So it will normally be to the app data folder, and then look for this file twitter.stf, and we can see here it's uh, the SQL Compact server here. So what we'll do is we'll we'll test it locally first to make sure it's working. And then I'll show you how to upload it into the cloud. Okay, so it's a basic Twitter feed analysis program. We can analyze some tweets and so on. Okay, so that's that's working locally. So the first thing we do is that uh, we add a deployable dependency and for that we add SQL Server Compact so that will upload the DLLs and so on into the Azure Cloud. Okay, So it's already done it, so there we go, that's the DLLs that it will actually upload. Now what we'll do is we'll build it and then we'll deploy. So we just publish. Uh, I normally just copy it to a folder and then FTP it. So let's start our FTP client. Right, okay, so, so let's look at our Azure site. So what I've done is I've created a, a new website here. Okay, so the website has these FTP details, so we would copy that and we'd copy our username and we should be able to get access to the website to upload. Okay, so let's connect. Okay, so this is the folder that I've built for the deployment. And our default folder for the website is in site www root. And what we do is we just copy it over. So there's the database going over. So that should be created within the app data folder. And there it is there. So with inside Azure, we can then look to configure the connection string. And here it is here. So from here, we would take our connection string name and
and we'd find that under our web.config file. Okay, so there's the name and there's the data source. Okay, so you would just basically paste that in there and then this becomes custom because we're using uh, an on SQL client for that. So we'll just check to see if our site is uploaded and it has. So then we can go back to our dashboard and hopefully everything's been set up for us. So we now try the URL. Just takes a little minute to load in the cloud. And there we go. So that's showing how you can uh, quickly upload your project with a database into the Azure Cloud.